Welcome back. Um, um, this is Rashad Mitchell. Coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I do part 27 of I Understand Black Music History. Talk about the events, the moments that took place in black music history for, for October 27th. Now, on October 27th, excuse me, beg your pardon, you changed that April 27th. April 27th. I just did um, part 26 on April 26th. Now this is April 27th. April 27th. The 27th part of this part series of On This Day in Black Music History, part 27. Looking at the events and moments that took place in black music history on April 27th. Now on April 27th, 1957, the number one R&B song was Lucille by Little Richard. On April 27th, 1960, the biggest show of stars, 1960, made a performance stop at the Lauderdale County Coliseum in Florence, Alabama. The performers, including Little Anthony and the Imperials, Lloyd Price, Clyde McFadder, Bo Diddley, Jimmy Reed, and the Coasters, among others. On April 27, 1963, the Crystals soared onto the pop hit list with the Do Run Run on do Run Run on an eventual number three classic. That was uh, the Crystals. Well, they sold on to the pop hit list with the Do, the do Run Run on an eventual number three classic. On April 27, 1972, the Shy Lights hit number one pop in R&B with their career establishing Old Girl. Lead singer Eugene Record was the husband of soul singer Barbara Ackland. On April 27, 1974, the Impressions charted with Finally Got Myself Together, reaching number one R&B and number 17 pop. It was their fourth and last, I think number one over 11 years, starting in 1963 with It's All Right. I think they wrote fourth last number one R&B hit, looks like it, by what I see. But anyway, this is like, you know, their last... You no know, big hit, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Over 11 years, starting with the next season three with It's All Right. 1984, April 27th. Michael Jackson's incredible success in Airwave, Airwave Overkill had its detractors. Believe it or not, even though Michael Jackson was such a successful you know, artist at the time, through the early 80s to the mid 80s, everybody was not pro Michael Jackson because according to this uh, information right here on April 27, 1984 Michael Jackson's incredible success and in airwave overkill had its detractors and among them was a radio station WWSH in Philadelphia which they declared a no Michael Jackson weekend so think about that that shows you that everybody wasn't for Michael Jackson now how great he was how successful he was at the peak of his powers, everybody wasn't for him. When you have a radio station in Philadelphia, WWSH radio, declaring a no Michael Jackson weekend, so he has detractors. You know, they, they, they got tired of his success and the, the airwave overkill, so they decided to have a no Michael Jackson weekend on WWSH radio in Philadelphia. Continuing on, on April 27, 1990, B.B. King was hospitalized due to diabetes-related problems in Las Vegas. Within a month, he will be back performing. On April 27, 1991, Luther Brandros charted with Power of Love, Love Power, reaching number one R&B and number four pop. The backing vocalists included Darlene Love and Sissy Houston. On April 27, 1993, Aretha Franklin had a, her first TV special, was taped at New York Nederlander Theater and featured duets with Bonnie Raitt on Since You've Been Gone and Natural Woman with Raitt, Bonnie Raitt, and Gloria Estefan. Performing were Smokey Robinson singing a duet with Aretha Franklin on Just to Hit See you, Just to See Her and Elton John. So that concludes a look at the events and the moments that took place and black music history. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That concludes my day of videos. I did part 25. 
part 26, part 27, chronicling the events and the moments that took place in black music history on April 25th, the 26th, and the 27th of April, respectively. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Check out all my the description, what I got going on for myself. Also, please subscribe to Rashad Mitchell's channel. If you like the content, subscribe, make a comment of what you think of the con content that I did, and take it from there. So I'll be doing like three videos tomorrow, and uh, maybe, you know, during this week coming up, because I'm going to continue to put out great content for you. I'm not going to get the subscribers overnight or comments overnight, but as I continue to be productive, the more the merrier, the better the results will be. So that concludes this uh, part series as far as like for us today. The part series will continue tomorrow as I chronicle the life and times, the, the moments and times, rather, and the events that took place in black music history from a monthly perspective. So um, that concludes that for today. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.